everybody's treatment is different. So some patients might have a whole set of braces on all of their teeth, depending on how many teeth you have in your mouth. Some patients might have limited braces. When you brush your teeth, you want to open your mouth and you want to take your toothbrush and apply it on an angle to make sure that you get your gum line and where the gums and the teeth meet. That is the number one place where most people miss brushing. When you brush, you're going to do circles all the way from as far back as you can go, which should be that very last tooth. You're doing circular motions from the gums to the sides of the teeth, to the bottom of the teeth, to the inside of the teeth, all the way to the palate. Then you can move to the next set of teeth. Your toothbrush can accommodate two teeth each time that you go around. One, two. When you're brushing, make sure that those bristles move. You don't want to brush too hard, but you should be able to feel a nice, clean mouth as soon as you're done. All the way around. All the way around. When you get to the other side of your mouth, then you can proceed to go down to your either top or the bottom, whichever one you start with, working all the way around. Don't forget to brush your palate, the hard roof of your mouth, and don't forget to brush your tongue. After you're done brushing, you'll want to rinse and check around using a mirror and a nice bright light to make sure that you've completed your brushing. If for any reason you see anything else in there, please go in there and try to brush it off, okay? This right here is our interdental brush. It almost looks like a little treetop. And what you do with the treetop toothbrush is if you're going out for dinner one night, this obviously does not take the place of tooth brushing itself. But if you're out for dinner one night and you have a piece of food, possibly a seed or a piece of spinach, it goes under the wire and in between the braces. And that allows the food to move out a little bit more freely. This is only used a couple times. This is not something you want to keep long term. And you can also use pipe cleaners as well, if for any reason you can't find these at the stores. However, everyone sells them in their dental area. This right here is wax. If for any reason you're having issues with anything poking you, sometimes during treatment, your wires can get long, or if a bracket becomes loose, you don't take a lot of wax. You use about, about the size of a very, very small pea, even smaller. And what you do is you take that little piece and you roll it up into a little ball, dry off the area that's poking you, maybe with just a paper towel or a rag, and you take that ball and you smash it on whatever is bothering you. When you smash the ball on, it creates a barrier between your cheek and the poke. And of course, call our office and let us know if there's anything that we can do in between then and your appointment so we can make you more comfortable. Orthodontics can be wonderful, but make sure that there's always open communication between us and your family so we can help you the best that we can. Every night our patients should floss their teeth. And it's really important to get the food that's stuck in between. That way we prevent cavities. What we like is super floss. Super floss is really great because it has a floss threader on the top of it that's pre-coated so it acts as a needle. This big puffy stuff right here is if you have big spaces between your teeth or larger size spaces. And this is just regular old floss, okay? If you've never flossed your mouth, this is how you would use super floss. You take the needle portion of the floss and you go under the wire and in between the teeth. If you had a larger space in between your two front teeth or any of the teeth, you take that bigger stuff and you go 
right past the contact of the teeth where it could be tight, and you gently go up side to side by the gum line, and then you feed this through. You do not have to use Super Floss. Super Floss is only a guide that can help you out. You can always use plain floss as well. This is the opposite side without the needle. You take and go under the wire. Go past the contact and go up and down side to side a little bit. And then you feed this through. Before every night, you should be brushing, flossing, rinsing, and then going right to bed and having a great evening. For any reason, if you have any questions or concerns about any one of the object, objects that we've shown, please call our office. Our phone number is 847-249-8800 or visit our website at www.prairieortho.com. Thank you.